my brothers and sisters, we gather for worship in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with thy spirit. As we prepare to celebrate the presence of Christ in word and sacrament, let us call to mind our sin, and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against Thee and against our neighbour, in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are heartily sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of thy Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve thee in newness of life, to the glory of thy name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In silence we pray. Almighty God, you have created the heavens and the earth and made us in your own image. Teach us to discern your hand in all your works and your likeness in all your children. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit reigns supreme over all things, now and for ever. Amen. Amen. reading from the letter of James. Those conflicts and disputes among you, where do they come from? Do they not come from your cravings that are at war within you? You want something and do not have it, so you commit murder. And you covet something and cannot obtain it, so you engage in disputes and conflicts. You do not have because you do not ask. You ask and you do not receive, because you ask wrongly, in order to spend what you get on your pleasures. Adulterers, do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? Therefore, whoever wishes to be a friend of the world becomes an enemy of God. Or do you suppose that it is for nothing that the scripture says, God yearns jealously for the spirit that he has made to dwell in us. But he gives all the more grace Therefore it says, God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Lament, and mourn, and weep. Let your laughter be turned into mourning, and your joy into dejection. Humble yourselves before the Lord, and he will exalt you. For the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The response to the psalm. Cast your burden upon the Lord, and he will sustain you. Cast your, your burden, burden upon the Lord, and he will sustain you. Oh, that I had wings like a dove. For then would I fly away and be at rest. Then would I flee far away and make my lodging in the wilderness. Cast, Cast your, your burden upon, upon the Lord and he will sustain you. Alleluia, alleluia. I would make haste to escape from the stormy wind and tempest. Cast your burden upon the Lord and he will sustain you and will not let the righteous fall forever. Alleluia. Cast your burden upon the Lord, and he will sustain you. Lord be with you. And, and with our spirit. 
Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Glory, Glory be to thee, O Lord. Lord. Jesus and his disciples passed through Galilee. He did not want anyone to know it, for he was teaching his disciples, saying to them, The Son of Man is to be betrayed into human hands, and they will kill him, and three days after being killed he will rise again. They did not understand what he was saying and were afraid to ask him. Then they came to Capernaum, and when he was in the house, he asked them, What were you arguing about on the way? But they were silent, for on the way they had argued with one another about who was the greatest. He sat down, called the twelve, and said to them, Whoever wants to be first must be last of all and servant of all. Then he took a little child and put it among them, and taking it in his arms, he said to them, Whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes not me, but the one who sent me. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Christ. So in the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. Lord of the Church, we pray for your Church throughout the world. We pray at this time for our brothers and sisters in the Ukraine, for the Ukrainian Orthodox Church. We give thanks for the blessings you bestow upon us in this place. For Christopher, our Bishop, for all Christian communities in his care. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. <clears throat> Lord of the world, we pray for your creation. We pray for those parts of the world affected by natural disaster. We pray for the peoples of the Ukraine and Russia. We pray that there may still be peace. Lord, in thy mercy, hear Amen. our prayer. Lord, who in the Trinity is perfect community, we pray for the communities in which we are set. We give thanks for our families, friends, colleagues and neighbours. <clears throat> we pray your blessing upon our community life here in Karsholt. All those engaged in business and commerce. <clears throat> those involved in recreation and leisure. All those who represent us on local authorities and who work to keep our streets clean and safe. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. God of healing, we pray for those whom we know to be in particular need. All those whose names are laid upon the altars of this church. All those whose lives are drawing to a close, and all who watch and wait with them. We give thanks for all whom you call to minister healing, particularly in this locality. For our hospitals, medical centres, and for the work of St Raphael's Hospital. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. Lord of all life, we pray to you for those we love but see no longer, for those who have walked with us the way of faith and who are now at rest. 
the recently departed, for all whose anniversary falls at about this time, for all those who mourn the loss of a loved one. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. So we gather up these and all of our friends in the company of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of thy Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. We are all one in Christ Jesus. We belong to him through faith heirs of the promise of the spirit of peace. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. And, and with thy spirit, of one another, a socially distant sign of Christ's peace. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with and with thy spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Give thanks unto our Lord God. This is meet and right so to do. Worship and praise belong to you, Father, in every place and at all times. All power is yours. You created the heavens and established the earth. You sustain in being all that is. In Christ your Son, our life and yours are brought together in a wonderful exchange. He made his home among us that we might forever dwell in you. Through your Holy Spirit, you call us to new birth in a creation restored by God. As children of your redeeming purpose, we offer you our friends, with angels and archangels, and the whole company of heaven, offering the hymn of your unending glory. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord, Blessed is he in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Glory and thanksgiving be to you, most loving Father, for the gift of your Son born in human flesh. He is the Word, existing beyond time, both source and final purpose, bringing to wholeness all that is made. Obedient to your will, he died upon the cross. By your power, you raised him from the dead. He broke the bonds of evil and set your people free to be his body in the world. On the night when he was given up to death, knowing that his hour had come, having loved his own, he loved them to the end. At supper with his disciples, he took bread and offered you thanks. He broke it, gave it to them, and said, Take, eat. This is my body. It is broken for you. Ah. 
after supper, he took the cup. He offered you thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink this all. This is my blood, the new cup. It is poured out for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ is died. Christ, Christ, Christ is risen. Christ will come again. again. Father, we now obey your Son's command. We record his blessed passion and death, his glorious resurrection and ascension, and we look for the coming of his kingdom. Made one with him, we offer you these gifts, and with them ourselves, a single, holy, living sacrifice. Hear us. Most merciful Father, we most humbly beseech you, send your Holy Spirit upon us, and upon this bread and wine, that overshadowed by the Spirit's life-giving power, they may be the body and blood of your Son, that we may be kindled with the fire of your love and renewed for the service of your kingdom. Help us, who are baptised into the fellowship of Christ's body, to live and work to your praise and glory. Then we grow together in unity and love, until at last in your new creation we enter into our heritage in the company of the Virgin Mary, the patriarchs, prophets, apostles and martyrs, of all the saints, and of all our brothers and sisters, living and departed, through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom, with whom, and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, now and forever. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we pray. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who have trespassed against, against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. So that we are many, we are one body, but we all share, share one bread. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bear in our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, Grant us peace. Jesus is the Lamb of God, take away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his Son. Lord, Lord I have wonder that thou shalt come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my soul shall be human.
Let us pray. God, our Creator, by your gift, the tree of life was set at the heart of the earthly paradise and the bread of life at the heart of your church. May we who have been nourished at your table on earth be transformed by the glory of the Saviour's cross and enjoy the delights of eternity. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also and with you. Peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God, and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you, and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.